This is a project that I call the MinMax light. It's a flashlight built from scratch with the aim of having the minimum size with the maximum functions. This is actually version 2. It's a successor to this project, which I'll put a link to in the description. While the previous light was a modified stock flashlight, this one is designed and built from the ground up. This includes pretty much every feature I could think of for an EDC flashlight. Adjustable brightness, red, green, and blue color modes, ultraviolet, a green laser, USB-C rechargeable, temperature control, battery power instrumentation, a graphical color display, a tail switch, as well as up and down switches, a touch sensitive panel, a tail cap magnet, and of course this includes all the functions my previous meld flashlights have, strobes, configuration options, automatic shutdown, etc. I managed to fit this all into a final size of 51 by 30 by 17 millimeters. This light was completely 3D modeled and all the structural parts are 3D printed in ABS. A central frame holds all the electronics wrapped around the lithium battery and there's a heat sink formed from a folded copper sheet that wraps around the right side. To get this to fit into the smallest package possible, I put all the electronics, including the emitters, onto a single flex PCB. Here's the schematic, which is split into several functional groups. Laser driver, charging, uh, battery instrumentation, touch panel, white LED drivers, color LED drivers, microcontroller, and display. This was my first time designing a flex PCB and I was really happy with how they came out. All the assembly was done by hand with solder paste and everything could be put on a refloat in one shot since all the components were on one side and the board wasn't yet folded. Building the light this way meant there's no wiring to be done at all except to connect the battery. This board ultimately gets folded to cover a uh, four sides of the light to have emitters on the front, display on the side, switches and touch panel and jack up top, and then a third switch on the back. The mechanical parts were relatively quick to make, and then I could start on assembly. Everything could be assembled and debugged before it went into the housing. The assembly into the housing was very fiddly, which is why I later broke out the programming connections to another location above the heatsink so I wouldn't have to do it again for firmware updates. The case is held together by snap fit tabs, which works pretty well after a few iterations to get the dimensions right. There's a polycarbonate window on the front to protect the optics and then another one on the side to protect the display. And here's the finished product. I won't go into detail on all the modes. You can get a good overview of that in another video. Um, this one does all the same stuff as my other meld lights with the addition of the green laser, USB charging, a third switch, and of course the color display. The display always shows mode, LED temperature, battery charge status, drive current, and the remaining runtime estimate. In white modes, there's this sliding scale at the top, showing where the output is on the exponential dimming curve. And in color modes, it shows a scrolling list of uh, icons for each mode. The display also makes configuration settings easy since it can say what they are in plain text. And the display is also used with the touch sensor on top to show the battery status without turning the light on. And while charging, it also shows charge current battery voltage, and counts milliamp hours. Thanks for watching.